Since 1967, Stroud Water Research Center has focused on one thing, fresh water. By advancing knowledge and stewardship of freshwater systems through global research, education, and watershed restoration. Learn more at stroudcenter.org. There's so many teachings that the earth has given me. She's like my best friend. <laughs> so I learn a lot from her as a teacher. She has so much to share, so much wisdom. It's just beyond what I could ever, ever have imagined. There are times when teachers, if only for a moment, are encouraged to become students again. When it's okay to play in the water and explore the world around them. For these 15 high school science teachers, today is that day. We've got a bunch of our different books here. Yeah, can you find any that you know? To do a stream study program is an adventure. Uh, so in a way, we can think of it as an educational adventure. They're going to have fun along the way, and that's a, that's a core part of our approach also, is, is make sure people are, are engaged and excited and having fun. Today's assignment is to assess the health of White Clay Creek, a 19-mile stream that runs through southeastern Pennsylvania. To do that, they'll be looking for macroinvertebrates, bugs big enough to see with the naked eye. Because when it comes to the health of a stream, the more bugs, the better. Oh, oh, I've got multiples. There's You're one on my finger. Getting what is to that? So there's a stonefly. Oh, so that is an amphipod or a scud. So the things that we had the teachers do that day were mostly hands-on, you know, because that's the way to really get them inspired and engaged. And that's a good way of, of learning also. So they were simply going out to this river, stepping in, taking that plunge, you know, reaching their hand into the water, bringing up this rock that has a whole life living on it. Stonefly. Nice. How many tails did he have? How many tails? Two of those. Two tails. Snow Two tails. Stonefly. Okay. Mayfly's got three. For many of the teachers, this experience was a little like being a fish out of water. But for one person, it was like a bird being in the water. This is Chris Maragos, a safety for the Philadelphia Eagles football team. He was invited to inspire the teachers, okay. but as it turns out, they were the ones who inspired him. You know, having the opportunity to come out here and to be a part of this is really great. You know, it's a far cry from tackling guys and uh, catching interceptions, so uh, it's cool to kind of get outside of, you know, kind of the things that you're used to doing and get to experience things like this. We were up on the banks looking at all of these bugs, you know, and it was time for him to probably leave, but he said no. I want to stay because I had a dragonfly in my hand, I think, as a dragonfly, and I was showing everybody, and he could have left, but he said, no, I, I want to learn more about this. I see it. Everything. Except in oh. <laughs> Professional football player, high school science teachers, very different careers, but all of them in a position to influence tomorrow's decision makers. I'm excited. I think any time that you get students out of the classroom and working as a group toward um, a common problem, I think it'll drive home the fact that everything that they do has implications down the line. There's another ooh-ah. Put it down. Let's see what this crowd says. <laughs> the teachers have the same reactions as a, as a fourth grade kid does. When you get to see a macroinvertebrate uh, running around in a petri dish, or we put it up, on, up front on a microscope and project it on a big screen, so sometimes it's three feet in length when it's really only the size of your fingernail. We always still get the wows and oh, they're, they're so excited. Can you see what this is, anyone? What spins a net? Oh, the, the caddisfly. Caddisfly, net spinning caddisfly. So there's a lot of things that I'm hoping these teachers will take away from this whole experience with uh, aquatic life. And I'm probably gonna cry because of this because it means a lot to me that people actually care. <laughs> I think a big part of this for me is that people spending any time that they can with us means that they are open to caring about the earth, you know? That's my passion is to take care of the earth.